Hello folks, this is Theo, also known as DJ Delightful. Welcome to the introduction to my series of tutorials on vocal scratching. I am the blah blah champion of blah blah. I'll skip the introduction because this needs to be a short video. There are several things to be said before I get into the first part of the tutorial. Number one, why am I calling it vocal cuts or vocal scratching and not phrasing? Because if we play traditional instruments, what we would mean by phrasing is something quite different from scratching. But how we phrase what we play is a very relevant concept to scratching as well, especially in the context of freestyle scratching. So I just personally think the two terms shouldn't be mixed up. The other thing to mention is that I've planned these tutorials quite carefully and they are going to be about 70 minutes of video in total. So I had to make some decisions and there are few things that are not going to be included in this tutorial series. One of them is scratch history and inventors of techniques. Number two will be actual explanations of techniques by themselves. I will strictly talk about how I apply techniques onto vocal phrases and not how they are made or executed. And number three is some information about the different tools that we might use depending on preference and depending on the setup that we have. Especially for vocal scratching, I think there are some differences between whether we use 133 BPM skipless to 100 BPM skipless to or just a phrase from the a cappella on a 12 inch record that we have given that we use turntables at all. Uh, I really can't afford to get into that though and I think for the biggest part of this tutorial series I'm going to be using a 133 skipless analog record. Also a very short disclaimer about the names of techniques. I think I usually stick to the most commonly accepted names but if occasionally I use the wrong name of any scratch technique just let me know in the comments. To me, terminology serves the purpose of communication and I don't honestly really care what's the right term for this or that as long as I know what people mean and people know what I mean. That's about it. And finally, and obviously, I'm aware that there might be alternative explanations and alternative learning methods to the stuff that is going to be shown in this series. Uh, my motivation behind doing it is that I have not yet come across uh, anything available, at least for free, online, which has all the info specifically regarding vocal scratching put together in one place. Um, if you know any materials and any teaching sources that have similar, and in your opinion, better explanations on similar stuff, then also feel free to put it in the comments so everybody could learn better.